Well, we just learned that the fire is officially out. However, firefighters are here on standby for any possible hotspots. Actually, it was just a few moments ago we saw them come off of their ladders, and it appears, as you can see behind me, a little bit darker, meaning that they were able to get a better handle and control of it. But neighbors tell us what we know about this church. It's a very beloved place in this community, one that has cars lined up around the block during services. We want to take you over to some video of that fire from earlier that shows just how high those flames got at one point shooting above the church's rooftop before it collapsed. Maywood's fire chief said this happened around three o'clock. This is at 15th and Harrison in Maywood. When crews first arrived to the New Life in Christ Bible Church, they found fire coming from the rear of the building where fire officials say they believe that's where it started. Initially, the chief said firefighters were able to get a handle on the flames, but at one point, Things took a turn, and that's when the fire started to spread and fast. This all happening as fire crews also enduring below freezing temperatures. One of the major things that we have to worry about is safety. We're always concerned about slips, trips, falls. Uh, sometimes uh, our water pressure, uh, our ability of the water pressure is affected. Uh, we had a slight issue with water pressure this afternoon, uh, but companies on the scene were able to mitigate that problem and continue on with their operations. Now, as firefighters went into defensive mode, meaning attacking the fire from the outside, both on the ground and ladders, they had to also evacuate two nearby homes. And thankfully, the flames did not spread to those residences. Now, back out live, we've also heard, thankfully so far, the chief said no injuries to report. And they also told us no one was inside the building at the time. But right now, it's still too soon to know what caused this 